A baby's first set of teeth generally begins breaking through the gums around six months of age. To relieve the pressure on their gums, babies may bite on their fingers, toys, or teethers. But in today's Health Check report, Delane Cleveland talks more about a study that suggests not all of the baby teethers on the market are free of troubling chemicals. All right, let's spread them out. Spend just a few minutes in a classroom full of toddlers, and odds are likely that you'll come across something adorable. Shake it. Okay, guys, we're going to shake it. But this is also the age where children are teething, and staff members here at Little Newtons in Plymouth are on the lookout. We do experience a lot of teethers, and, um, you know, they have different behaviors when they're teething, and they'll hold their mouth, or, you know, they have an increase in saliva. They have more of a tendency to maybe bite. Many parents buy baby teethers, which are gummed by infants to help soothe teeth pain. But a new study found that those teethers might not be free of the troubling chemical known as BPA. The American Chemical Society found BPA in 59 teethers that they were looking at, and those teethers were marked as either non-toxic or BPA-free. That's significant because BPA can interfere with hormones that are important to a baby's growth and development. The chemical is already banned in bottles and cups, but teethers aren't subject to the same regulations. For me, it was very surprising to see that they found it in 59 teethers and they're all brands, all different varieties, whether they're soft or water filled. So instead of using potentially toxic teethers, Elise McGregor suggests parents try other remedies. I feel like it's important to just have a cold refrigerated washcloth and the baby can or the toddler can chew on it. Um, you could also use cold baby food if they're not eating solid food or a cold banana. You ready? One method they use here at Little Newton's is simply keeping the kids busy to distract them from the pain of teething. Or if the kids happen to bite, the staff members reinforce the fact that teeth are for food, not for biting their friends. So it's something that we keep an eye on. In Plymouth, Delane Cleveland, CZX News. Uh, there are also teething tablets on the market that can help numb the pain for kids, but it's recommended that parents check with their doctors first before giving the pills to their children.